In February of 2012, Norma and I visited Cambodia and Vietnam. Phnom Penh is a bustling, growing city. It is home to the Royal Palace and is the capital of Cambodia. In the Royal Palace, the King resides. He is in his 50s and is a ballet dancer. I have never seen traffic patterns like in Cambodia and Vietnam. Cars and motorcycles edge into the traffic expecting other people to slow down or move. And they do. It's amazing. Sometimes we see cars on the wrong side of the road. Traffic just flows around them. New bank buildings indicate the prosperity of Cambodia. We knew little about the mass murders which occurred from 1975 to 1979. Two million people were killed. Our guide's father was shot in the back while working in the fields. Gathered over of Hinduism by the Indian Khmer King Jaya Varman the Seven, the only one. Uh, we learned about the history of Siem Reap, the religious center of Cambodia. The temples date back to the 800s. They show the switch from Hinduism to Buddhism. Our guide entered the monastery as a way to get an education. He will become a monk after he raises a family. The music in the background was recorded from a group of Agent Orange victims of the American War. Agent Orange has created a number of birth defects in following generations. This temple is remarkable because strangler fig trees are growing in and around the structure. The most famous, as well as the most crowded, temple is called Angkor Wat. The history of the construction of the temples were written on the doorposts in Sanskrit. Thousands of people have been maimed and killed by the landmines that remain from their civil war.
Our trip on Tonley Sap Lake included a visit to the floating village. There was even a floating basketball court. Bye. 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 Bye.